This video was sponsored by oddbeachexpress.com. Oddbeach Express Stock Media by subscription is a new site that offers high quality broadcast resolution stock media content. Their content includes stock footages up to 5K resolution, music, sound effects, images, and After Effects templates. Sign up today for a free account at oddbeachexpress.com and receive 19 free pre selected stock media downloads. No credit cards, payments, or obligations required. Create your free account today. What's up everyone and welcome to my After Effects tutorial. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to create this nice clean slideshow in Adobe After Effects. So as you can see awesome people, this is perfect for your photography demo reel or if you want to show some of your works to a new client or if you just want to put together a nice family vacation sort of video. So this has tons of users and I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial and also awesome people, in this video I'm going to be talking about some nice parallax creating techniques and also be showing you how to create some nice quick parallaxes in Adobe After Effects. So I hope you guys enjoy and uh, let's get started. So I'm going to create my new composition and I'm going to call this uh, pick 01, right? And we want to create this very huge because this is where our original image is going to go. So I'm going to create this 3840 by 2160 and uh, seconds and FPS doesn't really matter. So just create that. And next awesome people, I'm going to drag and drop my image into this. So I already have imported my image. I'm going to drag it to the composition. And as you can see, it's already bigger than a 4K resolution. So that's good but I'm going to squish it down uh, right there, right? So this way we are putting almost all of the image into the scene and this is going to look good. I'm going to create a new composition and I'm going to call this underscore main. Now this awesome people is going to be the output uh, composition, right? So we want to create this full HD, but in my tutorials case, I'm going to go for 720p, all right? I'm going to create this nine seconds long. Actually five seconds I think should be good. So there we go, there we have a nice composition. I'm gonna take my pick one composition, the one that I just made and I imported my picture in and drag it and drop it into my main composition. So as you can see awesome people, this composition is huge, right? But let's keep the size like that and uh, we'll create another composition and this time we'll call it text01, right? And now awesome people, the width uh, for this composition is gonna be 500 by 150. Now, if I also press OK, you can see this is a very small composition, but this would be perfect for creating uh, these nice titles, right? So I'm, I'm gonna uh, create my text tool. I'm gonna take my text tool. I'm gonna write something real quick. So I'm gonna type in clean. Uh, you can take your name, you know, your company name, your studio's name, or you know, what camera you used, or, or you know, if, if you're uh, showing off your client, like you know, your old work, then you can also add a nice, uh, you know, client name explaining that you know, whom have you worked for. So, this looks good. I'm gonna quickly adjust the kerning between these alphabets. I personally think they're that's a little bit off, you know, that's a problem with Arial. That's okay. Uh, so, okay, that's done. Next, awesome people. I'm going to go to my main composition and now I'm going to create a new shape layer. All right. So create a new shape layer like that. Open it. Add and I'm going to take rectangle. I'm going to take add and I'm going to take fill. This way we get to see what our uh, rectangle is shaping out to be. This is good. I'm going to open the rectangle path one. and I'm going to disable this lock. Okay, and now awesome people, we are going to basically insert the same value that we have created this composition in. So if you were to check, the composition has been created in uh, 500 by 150. This is the exact number that we're going to put over here. So the first value will be 500 and the second one will be 150. This way awesome people, we are going to have the exact same text effect. So if I was to take my text tool or my text composition and bring it over here, you can see it fits perfectly on the shape layer and this is exactly what we want. Let me rename the shape layer so we can work a bit better. So box 01 and also awesome people while I'm in the shape layer I'll also change its fill to a nice black color. Next awesome people I'm going to disable I'm sure I'm going to bring down the opacity to about 50% 50% 50 or 50 75 should do. All right I think I'm going to stick with 75 and that looks nice awesome people. Next, I'm going to uh, duplicate this, okay, and uh, I'm going to bring this just a bit up and I'm going to change its color to a nice, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, nice, this kind of color, okay, maybe not that, but yeah, that should do. I'm going to take its opacity all the way up to 100 
and now awesome people i'm just gonna squish it down so uh you can go to the scale or the or, or the size option and you can squish it down like this or you can also work with the scale option if you want next awesome people i'm gonna use my shift keys and my arrow keys together and i'm just gonna bring it down like this okay this is looking nice awesome people Next awesome people, what we'll do is we will select all of them and we'll create, a, like we'll convert them into a 3D layer. This way what's going to happen is we can create a camera into the scene and we can start creating a proper parallax effect. Actually before doing that awesome people, let's do one thing. Let's connect these two boxes to the text layer. So this way awesome people, if I was to scale my text layer, you can see that the scale of the two shape layers is also being affected. This way I don't have to do it all over again on three layers, I can just affect one layer and other two are scaling in proportion with that layer, right? It saves me a little bit of trouble. All right, this is nice. Uh, next what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scroll back a bit. And if you remember, we had a pick one which was insanely huge. I'm gonna, and since it has been converted into a three layer, we're gonna get this three point gizmo right i'm gonna select the z value or if you just you know hover your mouse over this blue axis you're gonna get that z on your mouse but if you don't want to do that because that's a little difficult to see select this composition hit the p key on your keyboard p for position and change this third value uh basically to the point where you know now this is gonna affect like this depends on what kind of resolution you're working on since i'm working on 720p my values will be different if you're working with full hd or 4k but i'm basically gonna put it to the point where it's gonna look something like this all right and now awesome people i already know that my camera animation if i was to create a camera you can understand uh, by the way, my depth of field is on, that's why everything is so blurry. So hit the A key two times if you're having the same problem and switch off your depth of field. Alright, that's good. Let's create a null object, Control shift alt y and make that into a 3D layer as well. Let's rename it so we can keep things organized. We we'll call this camera controller, right? That's how you spell controller, by the way. C, capital O, you know, company style. Alright, uh, take the camera and attach it to the camera controller okay so this way again we are not working with the camera you can shy it off if you want and we're just gonna uh, you know work with the camera controller so if i hit the p key on my keyboard and if i start moving things around you can see awesome people that we're getting the parallax now the problem is if i was to go a little too far you'll see that i'm getting my alpha now and this is a big problem we don't want to have this black um, you know spot or black bar over here. So what we'll do awesome people we can think a little bit ahead of time and What we'll do is we know that my camera is gonna move towards right so I can already plan and I, what I can do is I can shift this layer like so or actually like this Right, I'm actually gonna position my text layer properly as well as you can see it's in the center and it's not looking very nice I want to have it somewhere on this right hand side. So what we'll do is we will go to uh, main I'll select my text layer, hit the P key for position on uh, you know, when you have that selected and I'm going to push it just a bit backwards, something like this. Or what you can do awesome people, if you want a more intense uh, parallax effect, you can push it ahead, you know, closer to the camera like this, maybe uh, 350, right, and reduce its scale down, right. And now if we were to keep this over here. And if you were to play this, or if you have to scrub my nulls, uh, you can see awesome people that the uh, that the parallax effect is very very intense, right? So that's how you create a nice parallax. But for the case of this video, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna put this to minus 100, right? And now awesome people, I'm gonna put its scale to say it's about actually 50. I think should be good. So this is nice. Next awesome people, let's start the position animation for the camera controller. Move ahead in time to 2 uh, seconds and then let's just push this like so. So if I was to play this, you can see we have a nice parallax effect. And by the way, to anyone who doesn't know what's a parallax effect, uh, yeah, as you can see awesome people that my clean or basically my title holder is moving very quickly by the same time that my background image is moving very slowly. This is because if I was to rotate my camera, you can see awesome people that my image right now is very behind and my title is comparatively closer to the camera. 
right? That's why awesome people, when the camera is moving towards the right, the image seems to be very, very slow because it's very, very far away. And the titles are moving very quickly because they are very close to the camera. Uh, this is very similar to what you would experience if you are traveling and, you know, you see a mountain. Uh, so you can, as you can see, if you're going by a car, the mountain will appear to move very slowly because it's very, very far away. But if a car was to go by you, you can see that it moves very quickly because it is very, very close to you. So that's the same theory being applied over here. The titles are very close to the camera, therefore they are moving very quickly and the background image is very far away, therefore it's moving very slowly. So if you play this, you can see again that the titles are moving very very quick at least comparatively quicker uh, than the background image. so that is how you do it awesome people and uh, since everything is 3d uh, you know there is no problem now awesome people if you ever feel like okay i want to increase the size of my text what you can do is you can go to text one and you can start changing your text if you want like we can change clean to design right we can adjust its scale and everything and everything is going to update over here as you can see not only did the design change but everything stays in place right this awesome people is how you create a nice parallax effect in adobe after effects now before wrapping up the tutorial let me show you guys how did i create uh, this shot right here right as you can see this is a nice uh, sort of a you know like a fisheye lens zoom out effect and uh, this is also very easy to create now one tip what i would like to give you if is if you're trying to create a template and sell it on video hive or art beach uh you know or any of those sort of websites what you can do is instead of creating the full main composition again and again just duplicate this main composition i'll actually just rename it to uh zero one underscore done right so this way we know that the zero one is our scene one okay let's duplicate this and let's rename it to 02 underscore done okay so if we were to open this you can see that we're going to have two different compositions 01 and 02 now awesome people let's replace everything so we'll duplicate the pick 02 oops duplicate that we'll get pick 02 and we'll delete the pick 01 actually instead of deleting and inserting what we can do is you can select something or select a composition in your timeline in my case it's going to be pick 01 select a composition in your project panel hold on the alt key and drag and drop this way awesome people if you, if you were to focus over here the name is going to be changed now let me do that one more time and this time let me change the image in pick 02 so i'll delete this image here and i'll put a different image in the composition so you guys can understand this a bit better All right so pick 02 has a different image pick 01 has a different image if I go to 0 to done and again have something selected in your timeline so in my case it's gonna be my composition pick 01 have something selected in your project panel in my case pick 02 hold on the alt key and bring it like so and drag and drop on this thing don't let go of the alt let go of the mouse button and as you can see the image or the composition has been replaced with pick 02 so if I play this same design but different image Let's do the same thing with uh, the text uh, composition that we have. So we have text 01 over here. We'll duplicate this first and we'll rename it properly. So text 03, no, text 02, right? Select it over here in your project panel. Select something in your timeline. Alt click and drag and drop onto this text layer, right? Let's open this and let's change this now. So we'll put designed, um, uh, you know, design clean, <laughs> you know i'm running out of words okay so this is good so very quickly awesome people as you can see our full design has been updated and since awesome people we don't have any animation on the on these three layers what i can do is i can just select my text uh, composition and move it around like so and as you can see all the different shape, shape layers are following it so we still have a nice animation the animation is preserved and nothing is being messed up and the full editing of this template is very very easy now what if you don't want this left right animation what if you want to go vertical right up down or something like that well no worries go to camera controller and delete the two keyframes that we have over here so just delete it like so and uh, say that you want to go up and down right let's just position our text properly first we'll go to position start keyframe 
move ahead in time and now zoom people we will select the camera controller and we push it up like so right now again the uh, the parallax is going to work because the title is very close to the camera so it's going to appear that this is moving down very very quickly and the bg is comparatively very very slower right when it's moving away so these two are actually staying static it's camera that's actually moving and because of the differences in the z value or the z position of these two things the text and the background the uh, this the speed difference is coming right if i was to rotate my camera again this is closer this is further away and that's why we have that speed difference right so very quickly awesome people as you can see we completely changed the animation the images the text uh without like you know within like i think two three minutes or i think five minutes but uh you know that's it that it's it's that simple so anyone can do this and again if you want to create this sort of effect like you know this thing lens zoomed in or uh, fish eye sort of effect it's very easy to do awesome people let's create a new adjustment layer right and let's go over here and we'll type in optics compensation yep there you go it's it's, a, it's another distort category apply it to this adjustment layer and let's go to one second and put a check mark on reverse lens distortion okay uh and we'll increase this up to about uh 1 130 let's do just let's just do 130 um go back to zero we'll start the animation move ahead in time about one second should do and i'll bring it down to zero right so if i play this you can see we're getting this nice sort of animation now awesome people select the uh, you know hit the u key for revealing the keyframes select both of them hit the f9 key you can adjust its graph to uh, you know to affect the ease in the animation but this is how i was able to basically create my demo video right now awesome people do not worry this is very simple to do if you were to just if, if you got confused somewhere uh, watch this video again and you will definitely be able to understand this is a very easy thing and it creates excellent slideshows and excellent uh, you know video presentations and awesome people also for all my lazy friends uh, a template on this is going to be released very very soon so i hope you guys enjoy i hope you guys understand what we did today and i hope you guys can come up with your very own cool slideshows and if you do then uh, you know leave uh, them in the comments and i'll be happy to take a look at them so thank you for watching my name is tj style i hope you guys understood today's technique and uh, take care i will see you all next time thank you for watching